Hey, what's up, good people? I'm QC. Welcome to another edition of Talking and Grubbing. Monday morning, Kyrie Irving appeared on ESPN's first take. This was his first public interview ever since being traded from the Cleveland Cavaliers to the Boston Celtics in August. He gave his point of view on the whole process, and Stephen A. Smith asked Kyrie about his former teammate, LeBron James. Here's what he said, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Welcome into First Take, boy, do we have a big show for you, Stephen A. Smith. And I have a uh, very, very special guest coming on First Take today. You will know him when you see him. He will be on in a little bit. All I'm going to say to you is don't miss it. It's worth the wait. It's not every day we got Kyrie Irving out here in these Bristol streets, but he is an East Coaster now. We'll talk to him about Looking like he just team. checking into school, right? <laughs> I reported that LeBron was 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 so ticked off, he'd be tempted to, 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 to do something, not that he say? never would. Well, I felt like the timing was impeccable, how ironic it was that I was on my China trip and how my trade requests all of a sudden just came out publicly and it was hurtful because I knew how professional I had kept it throughout the whole entire process. Is there something personal going on that's none of our business that you simply don't want to talk about behind the scenes with LeBron? Can I ask you a question, Max? Why does it sure. continuously have to be about one player? Do you realize that I played with 13 other guys on the team? Did you speak to LeBron James or talk to LeBron James before you and your representatives met with ownership and let them know that you wanted out? No. You've reached the point in your career and life where staying with LeBron James would hold you back in terms of fulfilling your complete potential as a player. Why not? Why would I have to? Or that there's some personal problem with LeBron James. I'm not implying that you have to at all. Now you're answering cryptically a lot of the time and, and in kind of generality, and that makes me think that maybe there's something personal going on behind the scenes that you can't or don't want to talk about. Chances are, if you don't speak to somebody about it, they might take it personal. Yeah. Do you care about that at all? No. If you're not saying that, then I'd like to know what you have to say about the idea that perfecting your craft seems to be at this moment put ahead of the pursuit of championships. I'm sorry, Max, I absolutely need no sense to me in terms of perfecting your craft, like in pursuit of cha in championships, because it all goes in one as a professional athlete. Do you believe you can win without LeBron James? Time will tell. I ask you what you believe. Oh, absolutely. Then it seems you're also saying you have a better chance to, to that in perfecting your craft with another group, it also gives you a better chance to win a championship than staying in Cleveland this year with LeBron. Wait, so that, rephrase that one more time. I feel like there's a simpler way so, that you can ask that question. Yeah, so I stay just, with, so stay I with. I think me. I'm missing him. I'm missing him. That's like all right. That's all right. Well, well. I don't think that uh, you owe anything to another person in terms of figuring out what you want to do with your life. And it's not anything personal. I'm not here to tirade anybody. I'm not here to go at any particular person or the organization because I have nothing but love for Cleveland. How important is winning to you? I've been on the on the search and on the journey of winning at every level. I just think that you just care entirely too much. Kevin Durant catching LeBron James, best player in the world. I keep forgetting that, that basketball is a team sport. At this point? Yes. I'm around different players all the time. I understand it's one, two, two, one, however you want to slice it. I need an answer. <sighs> Give it to me. <laughs> in terms of there is no personal issue. There is no, like, let me figure out what's going on. Let's dive in and maybe we're missing something here. He, uh, he, you, 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 you reward guys for winning. Um, and he went to Golden State and he's won. He's a champion. He's a champion. Right. He's a, he's a solidified champion now. So he, he's able to be in those talks. I made the decision as a man 
And as a man over there, Max Kellerman, just respect it and leave it alone. In the journey that I'm going to be taking the next steps on with the team that we have, and the direction of being with a culture franchise such, such as Boston, which I can honestly say I'm very fortunate and very appreciative that it worked out that way because um, in the trade requests, I really took a leap of faith with myself. And regardless of the situation, that belief and confidence that I have in myself was gonna remain the same regardless of wherever I went. A lot of people look at Kobe and LeBron. Which one should we go with? In terms of who my favorite player is, yes. my dad first, Kobe second. It wasn't about me not wanting to win. It wasn't anything about that. It was like, I want to be extremely, extremely happy, like in perfecting my craft. And that was the only intent that I have in all of this. I think somewhere along the way, the relationship between LeBron and Kyrie fractured. Maybe it fractured during the regular season last year, or it all came to a head after the Cleveland Cavaliers lost to the Golden State Warriors in five games in last year's NBA Finals. But somewhere along the way, their relationship fractured. I at least thought that they had a good enough relationship where they could communicate with each other. You know, where they could sit down, talk to each other, text each other, tweet, Snapchat, Skype, whatever, to just clear the air. But I think it mainly fractured because of both of their camps. Instead of letting their camps do the talking, LeBron and Kyrie should have met somewhere and talked it out. Hell, even if they had to scream and curse each other out for hours, at least it would have cleared the air. But that's that. Anyways, that's my take. Like, comment, and share the video. Also, subscribe to my channel. When you do, please click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you won't miss any videos from me. That way, your friends and family can be mad that they miss videos from me. <laughs> Till next time, y'all have a good one. Love y'all to life. Deuces. Yeah.